spiritual home of Japan. It's capital for over a thousand years and home to over 3,000 shrines and temples. Welcome to Kyoto. thinking of Kyoto as this quiet, sacred, holy city. You go down these quiet little alleys, find a shrine over there, find a temple over here. But this Sunday morning, this place has come to life. I'm here at Yasaka Shrine. Everyone's come out to get in their prayers to play. There's this like a wooden paddle boarding bad game that people are playing. It's this really beautiful and rich and energetically balanced scene. And yes, for those of you wondering, I still got my polar bear chicken here with me. I think I'm going to make it a sidekick to kind of join me on my ventures for the rest of my Japan tour. Anyways, I think it's about challenge time. For those of you who don't know, I have this uh, spin the wheel app on my phone where I can put challenges that are perfect for traveling Japan. So without further ado, play the chubby bunny challenge with a random stranger. There will be plenty of time to stuff my face full of marshmallows later. It was time to get to exploring the spectacular city of Kyoto, and man, it did not disappoint. The scenes kept becoming more and more fairy tale esque as I got to the famous old streets of Sanenzaka and Ninenzaka, and finally reaching a climax with the view from Kiyomizadera Temple. If Japan was a mountain, I've climbed all the way to the top. From Kiyomizadera Temple, we're off to Fushima Inari Shrine. I'm a little shrined out of this Japan trip, but there was another shrine, one more shrine I had to check out in Kyoto, and that is the Fushimi Inari Shrine, famous for its thousand Tori gates. And it's no joke, I mean, it is a maze. It is these Russian nesting dolls of Tori gates. They come in all sizes, and it just goes and goes and goes. I've been walking for about 15 minutes now through this maze of Tori gates. I have no idea where it ends. Let's jump from one magnificent maze onto another. A trip to Kyoto would be incomplete without a trip to Arishiyama Bamboo Forest. Arishiyama is full of these charming shrines and temples scattered around these bamboo groves. So it's interesting to compare this place to the Shunan Bamboo Sea in China. I can't put my finger on it quite, but there is something more cinematic about this bamboo forest. It's currently uh, just before dusk. If you look off into the distance through the little peak holes in the bamboo where the light shines through, it's like being in bamboo outer space and you're surrounded by these shining stars. It's the optimal location to carry out my chubby bunny challenge. Do, do you like marshmallows? Marshmallows? <laughs> no. Marshmallow uh, was your desk. Ah, yes. Isho ni pochari bani challenge shimasen. Do you like marshmallows? Would you like to do the chubby bunny challenge? I've got a family here, and the the daughter here is is has taken up my challenge. So, what is your what is your name? Coco. Coco. Okay. Coco, uh, let, let's see who can be the chubbiest bunny. The rules of my chubby bunny challenge are simple. We alternate taking turns stuffing a marshmallow into our mouths and repeating the phrase pochari bunny, which means chubby bunny in Japanese. We kept repeating this process until the loser of the challenge had their face so stuffed full of marshmallows that they cannot repeat pochari bunny. Pochari <laughs> bunny? <laughs> you did a swallow it. <laughs> Make sure. <laughs> <laughs> you fail. Coco, do you have any last winning words? 
Yay. <laughs> okay, awesome. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Yeah, yeah, take care. As the sun sets on my Kyoto trip, it's time to take one last walk around the ancient capital of Japan. Just as during the day, Kyoto at night has this perfect balance of aliveness and calmness. Right now, I'm standing in this alley called Pontocho Alley. It's an alley with lots of bars and restaurants, and there are lots of people out and about. And yet, I feel this deep sense of peace, this richness, like there are these deeply ancient and wise spirits wandering throughout the air. The biggest question when it comes to traveling Japan is Tokyo or Kyoto? Which takes home the crown as Japan's top travel destination? For me, the answer is hands down Kyoto. While both Tokyo and Kyoto offer world-class vibes, the spirit of Kyoto is more distinct, more powerful. In my opinion, the number one feeling that characterizes traveling Japan is the immense sense of peace that comes with walking down a silent ancient alley or walking into a shrine that is on one hand calm and quiet, yet somehow simultaneously bursting with life. This is the feeling that I got all around the city of Kyoto. This city is just one huge temple, one giant Zen garden. It's an entrance to the spirit world, unlike anywhere else on planet Earth. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, and I'll see y'all for the next episode. On the next episode of my On the Ground Japan tour, organize the biggest dance party in Japan. Do you like to dance? No. <laughs> I'm organizing this dance party. Are you by chance interested? <laughs>